Well, I think Bradford has a bad name at the moment, or has had a bad name. If you go out to Bradford and you're on holiday in a big room and anybody asks where we are, where we're from, you, you know, my God, everybody knows. So I think it's up to us to promote Bradford and say what's good about it. And I think they've done a lot of work bringing it back to what old Bradford was. And it was a very proud city in the past. What, what's not to like about Bradford? It's such a vibrant city. I was born and raised in Bradford. I went to university here in Bradford, went to school in Bradford here. And I'm so privileged to have the job that I do, working with film and television productions that come to Bradford to use it as a location. The most unique thing about Bradford is we're the city of film, which means that uh, we have the National Media Museum, which is free, so it's somewhere to go in the summer. And we also have the IMAX, uh, which is another fantastic place to visit. Uh, what I like about Bradford is that all the locals, they're really friendly, they're passionate about being from Bradford, and it's nice to see that from an outsider's point of view. Uh, it's a vibrant place, it has lots to offer and lots to do, and I enjoy living here, and uh, that's where I want to be. I'm proud to be Bradfordian, I'm still living here from 1964. What I like about Bradford is uh... Bradford City, the Bantams. I just like Bradford as a city because there's a lot of nice places and a lot of places to go and it's to say when it's when the weather's nice there's places to go and you're not just stuck inside all day. Town Hall, I like Town Hall. Just outside we've got great countryside and there's just a real mix and a buzz about the place that I think you don't get in many other big cities. Uh, so I'm Bradford born and bred, you know. What I like about Bradford most, more than anything is the people, good Yorkshire people, and a good mix of different ethnicities. It's diverse and it is cultural. We have an awful lot of culture to offer everyone. My favourite place in the whole of the Bradford district is Haworth Moor, and obviously home to the Brontes and Top Withens up there, so, uh, said to be the inspiration for Wuthering Heights. I just love, uh, that's a, another thing I love about Bradford, is you don't have to go too far from the city centre and you're out in open countryside, and that, that's what makes it filmic as well. Hey, Lee. Uh, I really like in Bradford that everywhere you go is up a hill. You go anywhere and you get a really nice view across the city of where you've just come up the hill. That's my favourite thing. Vibrant. Bradford is for Nancy. Well, the thing I love about Bradford is, it, uh, or at least the team, is it's got a sense of responsibility. It understands that when the team's doing well down here, it has a massive positive impact on how the city feels and, and sees itself. Uh, what I like about Bradford is that there's a huge mixture of things and it's none of it is competitive. Everyone's working together to make the place a better place for themselves and for other people. Potential. Well, for the last 40, I can see for the last 23 years, Bradford is changing, is changing, you know. And for the last, uh, you know, for the last, you know, five years, five, six years, I can see a lot of new buildings, a lot of shops opening. And uh, surely, you know, with this Broadway, definitely will make a big bust. We're just one example of a, a, a business that's flourished in Bradford. And we've seen the good times and we've seen the bad times as well. Um, but the beauty about Bradford is obviously is the people uh, that make Bradford. Bradford's quite a different city because um, the community spirit around here is just incredible. Um, I've been um, set up for nine months now and the amount of support I've, I've had from my customers has just been absolutely incredible. My favourite place in Bradford is coming down, um, I think it's Rose Road, it's coming down from Rose and it's an absolutely fantastic vista there, you've got like the salts on the right hand side and you've got Lister's Mill on the left. When people come from all, you know, my mates come from London and that and I've always to trail them up there because I just think it's absolutely fantastic. You can really see what Bradford must have been like in its, uh, in its glory days, yeah, I love it. <laughs> my favourite place, is, I, I think it's a wonderful museum we are blessed with in Bradford. For example, we've got the Photography Museum, one of its you know, kind in you know, the whole of the United Kingdom. Then we've got the Industrial Museum. I just love going there and you know, looking at the old machinery. And in fact, the people from all over the world actually come to Bradford to, you know, for these places. And of course, the Impressions Gallery, which has just gone up recently. Well, one of the words would definitely be diversity. I like people that are like, we always go to events. When I was at uni, for example, I would go to events that were just all students all the time, whereas in Bradford we go to things and it's like 
there'll be people that are like 60 and 50 years old and then there'll be people that are like 18 at the same time, yeah. like doing yeah. the same thing, which is really cool. I don't think that happens in many places. Yeah. Development at this end of town is fantastic. All the new businesses that are opening. City Hall actually is pretty fabulous. It's a fabulous place um, both to visit and to be around the city park and around that area. So it's a real symbol of regeneration in Bradford with the old, which is City Hall, next to the new, which is City Park. And it's exactly what Bradford's all about, you know, using that history, but looking to the future. And I think that place really symbolises that together. I like the new City Park in Bradford. Um, my favourite place in Bradford is City Park. But most of all, I like Bradford because of its glorious madness and it's got more soul than Leeds. Yeah. First of Same all, way. we beat Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> From like we have, and to beat Leeds here in the, in the League Cup as well was amazing for fans because I think it's the first time for about 30 or 40 years that Bradford have beaten Leeds, which is obviously our big local rivals. Leeds is boring. Get that on camera, Leeds is boring. Yeah, I think to me, uh, as soon as you ask me my opinion of Bradford, I have to realise that that um, the new Bradford, including Ilkley and Keesley, the metropolitan district, is a total different kettle of fish because it includes such wonderful countryside. Ilkley Moor and the, the whole Bronte area uh, and that valley. Bradford is a made up of so many different villages um, and towns that have been joined together over the years as you know we've had urban sprawl but each has retained its own uniqueness so we, it still has a much more neighbourly feel than some of the bigger cities that have grown up in the last hundred years. Bradford is just really unique. Bradford is just an absolute mixture of everything mashed together. I think it's the diversity and the people the people are wonderful people, in fact, they be, you know, they're so friendly. Uh, in fact, there's perceptions out there and I'm afraid, you know, people of Bradford, you know, prove them wrong time after time after time. And I think, you know, it's, it's whenever, you know, the city needs and people tend to get together, it's no matter what, you know, background they are, whether they, you know, from Europe, whether they're from Asia or from, you know, the indigenous population here. The second thing is the food. It's, there's always something different for you to eat. Bradford's amazing because it's got a curry mile and it's culturally diverse. Bradford's got good curries. I like it because of all the curries and that. And I had my first curry in 1976. There's no place There's like Bradford. Bradford. We're in Manningham Park and I had this huge great dog uh, at that time, Big by Marana. And we're just walking around by where the lake is and this little squirrel comes staggering out. I mean, they're very ungainly on the ground anyway. Staggering out, carrying a japate. So my dog just bolted forward. I thought he was going to ride the squirrel in bits. The squirrel dropped the japate, hobbled off, and the dog just sat there and ate the japate. <laughs> Only happens in Bradford. <laughs> Third thing would be the sport in general. Um, I've come from a sporty background, and it's good to have a city where there's such a successful football and rugby club. What I think Bradford City's done for the city of Bradford is, is to produced that I can attitude. Um, they've been on such a successful run and beat such impressive teams that that spreads throughout the city and uh, it's just raised the belief levels amongst everybody. When Bradford City beat Chelsea 4-2, <laughs> uh, really raised the profile of Bradford. Um, people were talking about it for weeks afterwards. You could hear people on buses talking about it. People who didn't know each other were just chatting about it. It is very well, the teams, the, the, the club's very close because of the fire 30 years ago, which I was, I was there, and it bonded up. The city all came together then after the fire. And the city's crest says um, industry, humanity and progress, and I think the football team represents that right now. What I like about Bradford is the beautiful architecture, stunning scenery all around the edge of the city. Um, and the beautiful parks as well. Well, what, what I like about Bradford, uh, well, I, what I like about Bradford is that it's um, it's a city that's got so so little self confidence, right? But it's so fiercely proud about itself. It's pretty amazing. And if you talk to a Bradfordian, they, they're actually really, really protective over their city. Even though they'll come out with the headline is, if, if anything happens in the cities, well, it's Bradford, isn't it? 
I think Bradford's got a lot of energy to it, actually. There's a lot of ideas here, people willing and able to do things and get stuff done. So many places. Yeah. Undercliff Cemetery. That's one of my favourite places in Bradford. It's like, kind of tells the history of Bradford. Uh, what I like about Bradford is that it's full of characters. Um, really eclectic place and it's really unpredictable. What I like about Bradford is pretty much all of it. The people are amazing. They're so resilient. They're so proud to be Bradfordians. And, you know, they really have a sense of community and they pull together and the joy that they share is palpable in the streets whenever anything goes well, especially city-wise. And it's just a really great city to be part of. Vibrant. I think Bradford's special because the city centre and the rest of the city kind of blur together in a in a really nice way, um, especially with kind of the green the green spaces in the city. So there's nowhere that feels too built up. There's always trees everywhere. And sometimes when I go to other cities, I miss that. Energetic. We love Bradford. Can do. I like the Bradford Hospice in Bradford, which covers all Yorkshire, but it's based in Bradford and I've raised money for it for the last nine years. I like Bratford because one in a million free school is a, t is a school what is not only like founded by one of the famous who used to play for Bratford City, but has got actually partnership with Bratford City. In Bradford, it's, it's like, if you want to get out someone's way, it's like, you, you go first, and then the other person's like, no, you go first, and nice people. <laughs> I think my favourite thing about living in Bradford is that most of my family still live here too. So we're all quite near to each other and we, we can get in touch with each other really well. And we all like living here. Resilient. About Bradford, the, the establishment by Owen Jones is its favourite book of the moment. We're selling loads of it. Welcoming. Um, what I like about Bradford is there's like a complete... Uh, lack of pretension. Wherever you go, it can be like a night out or just into town. And you can be anywhere you want to be and if you don't feel like there's any kind of standards that you've got to live up to, I guess. And hard working. I've been a barber for eight years now and I could definitely say Bradford is stylish. Uh, I lived in Bradford all my life. I never moved to another town. I, I, I recently came down to the Reading game with my grandson who was five and we were stood just out here looking at the, uh, the memorial and talking about what had happened. Um, and just as we did, some Reading fans came and, and laid a wreath. And it was lovely for me because I could explain to my grandson that although football is about people competing and, and challenging, what football can do as well is it can unite and what people understand is that there are some things that are even more important, believe it or not, than football. I like, uh, I like Bradford because it's um, a small city and you know a lot of people in it, you know. Three words to sum up Bradford. Well, for me, it's home. It's where I was born and raised, so it's home. Uh, I really like all the museums. There's loads of interesting museums, uh, especially the Media Museum. That's a firm favourite. Um, you get to pretend you're on TV, so <laughs> nothing better. It's also film for the amount of film heritage and, you know, Bradford's the world's first UNESCO city of film. From this, our perspective on the cafe is that um, we are deemed to be quite a unique location because of the decor. We have not changed the decor since the 1970s um, and that's pulled a lot of interest towards ourselves in terms of uh, BBC film locations. Um, we were recently featured in the great train robbery. Edgy, I'd say it's edgy but in a great way, in a really exciting way. We put the rad in Bradford. My best uh, shop is Asian shop uh, called Bombay store. You can even buy a wedding outfit or party or this and that. I love Bombay store. One of my favourite things about Bradford is Saltaire, which is actually where I have the joy of living. It's such an amazing place, you know, one minute you're in this bustling World Heritage site and the next minute you're in full-on countryside and it's just beautiful and a really lovely place to be, especially in the, uh, in the summer. I like Bradford City because I think they're compassionate and they're very loyal.
from passion to achieve things and they do it by dint of hard work and enthusiasm that's great to see when that comes off. I like Bradford City because it's a family team and it's good for people my age to come and watch. I think the support this year has been immense. Um, the fans have been amazing, really got behind the team. Uh, one thing that stuck in my mind this year was when we, uh, a few weeks ago, when we played Bristol City here and we lost 6 0 at home. Um, and at half time, there was, there was no booing from the fans or any dissent from the fans. And then at the end of the game, we'd lost 6 0 at home. Um, and uh, at the end of the match, a few fans had gone home uh, and left the game, but the fans that were here, not one fan booed or, or, or jeered the, fan, the players off or anything. So I thought that was amazing. Um, and the support that the club have been given this year and the players have been given by the fans has been absolutely amazing. Regardless of what everybody else say about Bradford, mm. I love Bradford. Mm. Mm. Fabulous wow factor. You know, I came to Bradford in 62 and I wouldn't live anywhere else. The future. So I love Bradford. The resilience of those people, uh, they're, they're really strong Bradfordians and uh, they always show that resilience and always come shining through. A lot of potential, a lot of uniqueness and uh, a lot to offer. So I think it's looking bright for Bradford. Well I've been in Bradford, actually especially in this side of town, since 1990. And I've actually seen it go up and down in those years. And actually now I feel that really in Bradford. He's actually, you know, he's on his way back. So Bradford is, is definitely back. What have I got to say about Bradford? Well, I love it here. Um, my grandparents were from here. My mum was born in Clack Eaton. It's just fantastic. I love the place. Um, my dad wasn't born here, though, I'm afraid. It's from all at Border, Hetman Dwight. That magician chap does a few tricks. I don't rate him much. Anybody can do tricks. Think of a number between seven and nine. Eight! Think of a suit. Hat. Think of another. Spades. Not that one. Clubs. Not that one. Diamonds. Magic. <laughs>